Eighth grade, uh, we're, we're getting closer with this uh, geometry spreadsheet today. We're going to look at four more formulas. Um, one that's a big, awful looking kind of formula and the other, and three more that, that, that are just really, really uh, pretty simple. So uh, let's get right into it. And uh, we're going to our formulas tab. And in our formulas tab, we're starting right here with regular pentagon. Again, we've got most of our formulas built. We've got six to go. We're going to do four today. We'll do four the next time we're, uh, we're, we're together. And uh, that'll wrap up all our formulas and leave us with just a couple more steps to take. So we're in, uh, in pretty good shape to finish this up uh, really soon. Regular pentagon, this is the awful formula. So it's five times the side squared, right? Side times side divided by four times the square root of the quantity, five minus two times the square root of five. That's all it is. So uh, the con uh, the 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 form that we're going to follow is right there the, the difference between what we're going to do in this formula and this is instead of just the letter s we're going to reference the side from our calculate sheet which we've we've done before all right so every formula that we type into a spreadsheet starts with an equal sign so we're going to start here with an equal sign and then we're going to do an open parenthesis and we'll do five and then times which is the asterisk symbol in a spreadsheet and now we're going for the side. That's the one value that we need to calculate uh, the area of a regular pentagon. So we're going to our calculate tab and side is the value we need. So that's right here in cell G2. So I'm going to click on G2 and it's side squared. And we could do uh, the caret 2, which is how you square something in uh, a spreadsheet. But instead, I'm just going to use another multiplication symbol and click on side again. If you remember from our formula, that was the end of that parenthesis. And then we use a division symbol. I'm going to go back here uh, so that I can see exactly what my formula is uh, right there in my spreadsheet. And again, I'm going to go open parenthesis, four times uh, square root, S-Q-R-T is how we do that in um, uh, spreadsheet. Open parenthesis, and then we're going to square root five minus uh, two times square root of five. We've got to close a bunch of parentheses here. Uh, one more, there we go. And now we've got all our parentheses closed and we can hit enter and that should give us a value. And there we go. So let's double check that formula. We click here and again, we're looking at five times side times side divided by the quantity four times the square root of the quantity five minus two times the square root of five. Again, wild formula, but that is the formula for uh, the area of a regular pentagon given, uh, given only side length, right? We can calculate area of a, a regular pentagon with other, uh, in, in another way, uh, but given only the length of a side, this is the formula that we use. All right. So that's that formula. These three, uh, the, the three perimeter formulas are the next thing we're going to do, and they're going to be really, really simple. So the first one is five times the side, right? So if we've got a regular pentagon, that means all the angles and all the sides are the same. So how many sides in a pentagon? Five times the length of the side will give us the perimeter of that figure. So that's a pretty simple formula. So we're going to do five times, and we'll go back to our calculate tab and reference uh, the side. Oh, what did I forget? I forgot the equal sign. That's why nothing's working. All right, so let's try that again with an equal sign this time, equals five times. And now that we've referenced, uh, we use that equal sign when we bring back and we click on side, you can see it's going to reference that cell. Five times, calculate G2. I'm going to hit enter here. Now, I've got an idea that could save time but might not save a whole lot of time. Uh, obviously, this is going to be six times that calculate G2, and this is going to be eight times calculate G2. So what I'm going to do right now so I'm going to click back on calculate G2. I'm going to hold my function button down, that's FN, and hit F4. You can see how it put dollar signs on uh, that G2 cell, okay? Uh, not, not on the cell, but on that reference. So now it says five times calculate, exclamation point, dollar sign G, dollar sign 2. What that gives me the ability to do is drag that formula without that formula changing. So I'm going to click on this, the, the, I'm going to get the skinny plus sign on my uh on my, uh, excuse me, on my cell, which is in the bottom right corner, and I'm going to click and drag that formula down. Now, if I click in this cell, you'll see it still says five times calculate G2. Well, that's fine. I'll just change the five to a six and hit enter. 
Now this one still says calculate uh, five times calculate G2 also, but I want to change that now to an eight and hit enter. So just like that, I was able to write that formula and then change it a little bit. And by doing that, I was able to drag and change that formula, drag and change that formula and get all three of those formulas written pretty quickly. So we've got two formulas to go. That's regular hexagon and regular octagon. The formula I'd like you to have selected for your exit ticket today is, of course, the regular pentagon area uh, formula. And again, uh, the thing that I'm looking for in your screenshot is the ability to see this, the formula bar, right? So when you select this cell, I can see the formula in the formula bar. If you don't include that formula in your uh, exit ticket, that doesn't help me see the thing that I'm looking to see. Okay. I'm excited to see what you guys have done. We're close to wrapping this bad boy up, and I'm excited to see you guys using this, uh, this spreadsheet to do the thing it's meant to do. That's it for today.